welcome to another edition of Football for Beginners. Today, we answer one of the most commonly asked questions of football. How did the football get its unusual shape? Because I think it was a misshapen soccer ball. No. It's something to do with aerodynamics. Uh-uh. It's a mix between an oval and a sphere. And a watermelon. Stupid. Something that would easily fit in the man's arms that he won't drop. The big guys kept falling on it and falling on it and falling on it and falling on it. And, on it, and now it's just long and thin. In order to help explain the origins of the football, I have enlisted the aid of my stalwart nephew, Daryl. How's it going there, Daryl? The answer to the question of how the football got its shape can be found in pretty much the last place you would ever think to look, the inside of a pig. <laughs> yes, but first we must travel through time, back to the golden days, and a peculiar sport, much like football, known as rugby. The rugby ball simply reflected the shape of the pig's bladder that was inserted into a hand-stitched leather casing and was used as the ball. It was only much later that rubber gained popularity and replaced the pig's bladder. How's it coming there, Daryl? The extremely smelly pig's bladder would be inflated while it was still moist and green. A clay pipe was inserted into the opening of the bladder and good old-fashioned lung power was applied. Daryl? Ta-da! In those early days, it was necessary to ask for volunteers to inflate the ball, for it was not a job that was much sought after. Fortunately today, we've got Daryl. <laughs> you know how to do it, Daryl. You just put your lips together and blow. Uh, here's a straw if you think it'll help. Until next time, this has been Football for Beginners. Come on, blow. Just, just, just come on, do it.